What's going on there, my friend? Ricky Burroughs here from rickyburroughs.com. Today we're going to show you exactly how to use these keyboard shortcuts that are going to save you time. Now, I know for a while I didn't understand these keyboard shortcuts until I started playing around with all of them. And there's a few of them that will absolutely uh, help you save time and help you solve a problem, uh, especially when, you know, you're trying to ask, it's like you, you want answers to questions you just don't know how to ask. And what I'm going to show you here is just some really simple tools, some really, uh, really basic stuff that will save you time and probably answer some questions that you have. So let's get into it. Uh, let's move this down here. All right, so an example of this is I have my blog and I have all of these, um, you know, I have these dashes. I, I simply copied all this information from my YouTube channel, pasted it into my blog, and now I want to clean it up. So what you want to do is that if you have all this information and you want to quickly clean this up, you can, um, what you can do, now you're like, what in the world? Like, how did you, how did you get your keyboard on there? How did you do that? You simply go in the search bar, you go on screen keyboard, see it right here, on screen keyboard. So in case if like your keyboard craps out on you, you can actually use a digital keyboard, you know, right on your screen. And so here's what you do. So on your regular keyboard, now I'm showing you this on screen keyboard because you know it's a lot easier for you to see it and it would just make a lot of sense to you. So what you want to do is uh, say you want to bring this all up here like really quickly. All you have to do is hit the delete button and right here is the delete button. Watch what happens. It brings it up there and then you can delete it again. Like, okay, that's cool. Now let's say like you're right over here. Let's just say like you click in the middle, right? And you're like, oh, I just want to, you know, I don't want to like, I don't want to, you know, really jump over there uh, what you can do is you can hit the control and then go over it and it'll skip every single word now if you have a regular keyboard and you hold if you hold the keyboard hold the control button and then you keep moving over it will skip over to each word now with this on screen keyboard I wouldn't obviously be doing this it would just take forever but let's say that like you're in the middle and you just want to quickly jump over to the, the beginning of the sentence. Hit the home button. Bam. That's what the home button does. And you go delete. And you want to go over to the end of the sentence. Hit end. Wow, look at that. Then you hit delete. And you see how easy this is? You can just quickly jump into all these. Uh, now I'm just going to go through, make this a little bit easier. You know, for people, all right, so we click in the middle, and we go to home, delete, end. See, so we go to the end of this, uh, delete, and we bring up that other line into this paragraph now, and now it's all set, and that literally will save you a boatload of time on how to, you know, because when you're editing this stuff, you don't want to do it, it, like, all slow. You want it to be nice and fast. And then now uh, we'll go ahead and hit the update button, and then that'll take care of that. So, uh, so that's another one. So there's another one too that, like, let's say like you have, you, uh, you know, you got a, you got another, um, you're inside of a system or whatever, and you're like, oh, I don't, I can't, you know, it's frozen, you know, and you want to get out of it. Now. I don't see any like of the F keys up here because you'll see F1, F2, F3, F4. So what you would want to do is you want to hit Alt and then you'd hit F4. And let's see if it'll work right here. Okay, so it did. All right, so on my regular keyboard, I hit the F4 button. But if you had if you had F4 on this, I would have showed it to you. Uh, can I can I actually show it? No, I just wow, it actually stretches it way out like really big um, but I actually didn't even know I could do that but when you hit the alt and then the F the little F number F4 
uh, button right above your keyboard, it will click out. I'll do it again for you. So when you're in this and you're like, oh, it's frozen, it's not doing anything, you hit Alt and then F4, and it will close it out for you. So that's really, uh, really good. So all the other ones you really just don't need to worry about. The only one I would um, that I actually use are like Alt and F4, and then another one that people really don't realize is F5 because F5 will refresh the page. So when you press the F, not the letter F and the number five, but the two are in one key, are one uh, key. They're right at the top. It says F5. You press F5, and it will actually reboot, uh, reload all this uh, your page. So then that's, that is pretty much that. And most of them, if you hit F1, that actually is the help key. If you hit the F1, then it'll bring you to Google's, uh, you know, whatever browser you're in. You'll hit F1, and that will show you uh, just the help section, you know, for whatever browser you're in. And uh, that is pretty much, that's pretty much the basic one. So let's just let's type in something here. So we go into food, we type that, we move that away. Now let's say like you want to you know, like scroll all the way down to the bottom. You can just hit the page up and page down. And then that's you know. And this is for pretty much this is for beginners. You know, you don't wanna you don't have to worry about you know, you know, this is this is not for obviously this is not for people who are uh, intermediate or advanced. This is more along the lines of like just helping people uh, get to you know wherever they helping them to navigate a little bit better so they can get, uh, get the job done faster. And then um, if you want to switch between tabs, like if you like if you have like uh, say you have this open and you want to switch to another one. What you can do is you can hit Alt and then Tab, and then it'll show you everything that's open. And I'm trying to see, like you can actually, uh, you, if you hit, right, let's try it again. You hit Alt and Tab on your keyboard. It'll show you everything that's open, and then you can decide and see how this is highlighted in white. This white, white over here. You can hit it again, and it'll keep switching over. Switch it over, and it'll keep going over, and then you hit like enter, and it'll bring you right to that tab that will um, that you want to go. It's nice, quick, and easy to do. And um, let's just try to see if there's anything else. I think the Windows key does something too. Windows tab. Yeah, it's pretty much virtually the same thing. Windows Alt. Now you, it's it's basically the same thing. And once you get to this slide, you can actually click on anything that you really want. You don't have to hit the enter button. And that is pretty much it. But that's these keyboard shortcuts that will save you time. And look at that. My, uh, my screen came back. So I hope this has been helpful to you. Go ahead, hit the like button and subscribe. I don't typically do... Um, videos on you know like uh, computers and how to and how to use them but I do do plenty of videos on blogging networking and um, mindset training on getting people into the into the, the mindset of uh, being a business owner and having a legitimate internet business and where to get started so if that's something that's interesting to you go ahead hit the like button and hit the subscribe button so you can get more free content on them. I'll leave a link in the description below so that you can get more information on how you can start your own internet business and connect with me. So go ahead and do that. Click on the link below and I will see you on the next video. Bye now.